Hey, hey, welcome. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look by the Pisces. Okay, it is the first week of April. We begins from the first until the second. Ah, uh, you Pisces, it is a week of fire. It's overall fire, you Pisces. Zodiac energy is fire. Energy is fire. It's just fire, fire, fire. Okay. Oh, you Pisces. So the week begins from the first until the seventh, and I want to say thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful surprise. Thank you. Okay, you Pisces. This <laughs> week. Oh my. O M K. O M K. Okay, you Pisces. Oh my God, the wheel of fortune. Damn, bam. <laughs> so you men or women who have business, get ready because the wheel of fortune and that is a center because whenever energy comes out, because I'm doing a general reading and this is a reading for a lot of people. So whenever the first energy comes out, it's always the central of what to look forward in this week for you guys, okay? Damn, you Pisces. Oh my God, I know it, I know it, oh, I know it. Okay, so let's see the Wheel of Fortune business. Uh, buy the lottery, you Pisces. Whatever is happening in this week, just buy the bloody lottery, okay? Buy the lottery, you Pisces. Buy the lottery, it's gonna be good, okay? Buy the lottery, let's see what's happening. All right, some of you on Monday, it's a lot of energy. Tuesday, you're coming up in your own readings, you Pisces, especially you men 45 years and older, and um, you're dealing with a scorpion and some lies and deceptiveness. But there is going to be a new start, okay? So um, some of you are dealing with a Pisces, um, no, with a scorpion, um, it's definitely the energy of a scorpion that you're dealing with, and there's some lies and deceitfulness, and they're coming out, and it is destined for it to come out. Now, some of you, um, your own energy vibration is here. Monday and Tuesday is going to be a very, very powerful day for you, um, um, Pisces. Monday and Tuesday is going to be a very, very powerful day for you, Pisces. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, Monday and Tuesday is going to be a very, very powerful day for you, Pisces. Okay. Weekend is a weekend where there is a lot of work. God, it is a lot of work. You have a lot of work. You're doing a lot of stuff. You have a lot of work to do in this weekend. So be aware of this that in this weekend, there is going to be a really a lot of work that is happening. Um, the weekends are just going to be powerful a lot of work if you're a business person um, uh, your business is just going to be flowing in this week okay the energy of the tower is here where something you're coming in the month of April and something is coming to an end and you are so so happy um, you're gonna be receiving this you know you're very you're good you Pisces you're really good end of a situation and a new beginning is coming in it's as if you Pisces decide hell with this I'm bringing the shit down and that's it I'm shutting the shit down this is if you Pisces have enough from a situation and you decide to shut the shit down and you did okay so um whatever that you're coming leaving the month of March coming into April where it's as if you decide you the first week you started thinking a Monday and Tuesday is going to be good to make the ship, okay? Because you decide, ooh, Pisces. <laughs> oh, 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 you Pisces. I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore, you Pisces. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Okay, Pisces, uh, you know, I'm telling you, you guys always like have like one of the best readings. And we just leave your zodiac energy. So it's the new year, the new beginning year for you, Pisces. And this is why it's, it's as if you're bringing down the shit, okay? 
So some of you are dealing with a scorpion. Um, yeah, a scorpion. Some of you Pisces are dealing with a scorpion. And the energy with the scorpion, it is as if um, you, you found out that the scorpion has been lying. And you're going to bring down the shit. You're going to be ending something. You're, you're definitely going to be ending something because it's as if you're taking time in the beginning of the week to really go within and think. Mm -hmm. mm. you're really going in within and think about a situation and something that is happening and you Pisces are going to think hey this is bullshit I'm ending this shit I don't need to do deal with this and you're right basically you're right so you're going to take him down some shit and, and after you take that shit down your life is like it's gonna be like mm hmm I knew you were you were messing with me so it's as if you you Pisces went back to your ex and your ex is lying her ass off okay the lies came out about your ex it's as if you were dealing with a scorpion and she was lying or head off and you found out and you're you're about to take the shit down we look fortunate this year and this is just so fabulous because you you guys are just looking up as so you thought you could fool me didn't you <laughs> you know <laughs> and a judgment call is coming out and a new offer i'm seeing you returning to someone and this is it you know I've made the biggest mistake once and people always make the mistake of going back to an ex never ever ever it is over let it be that means the universe as make it over in the beginning and what the universe said is that this doesn't belong to you okay this was what it was and you have connected with the person and now move on and whatever it is but I'm seeing this Pisces constantly going back to exes. You need to find fresh blood, fresh meat, fresh whatever. But you constantly go back to exes, and that is why people can mess you up. Because you are going back, you keep on going back to people, and this is why they're messing you up, you Pisces. Okay. Um, and 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 um, I'm seeing an offer coming up for a Pisces man that is going to be receiving a new start. Whoever that was dealing with a Scorpio, um, her um, her information, and you're going to be finding out that she's lying. Her lies is coming out. Okay, so um, you um, you guys who were dealing with a Scorpion, because there's a transition that is coming in, definitely. Some of you, a transition is coming in. You're bringing an end to a relationship. It could be a marriage or a relationship, and you are going to be starting over with a Taurus. I uh, know with a Capricorn. So some of you, um, Pisces, is ending a relationship, and you are going to be starting over with a Pisces. Now, this person is not really an ex. This person is someone you have met, you both have crossed part, you have met, you both have crossed parts, and what is happening and what is transpiring is that you are realizing that this is the person that you want to be with. So, um, and, and, and this is someone who is elevated in the world. This is someone who is up there. This is someone who is really, really elevated in the world. Um, this is someone who is very educated, very well put together. Um, uh, it's not a lawyer it's not a lawyer it's not a lawyer um, it is someone who has their marbles intact okay very very um, and and whatever lies that was told about this person the truth is being revealed and you're going back to this person because it's as if you know that this person was your 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 soulmate it's as if you know that this is the other half of you it's as if you know that this person has something and you're you're going back and you're going to be asking for a second chance and and it's going to be a hard work because this person is going to put you through the reins but they're you know the relationship is going to be ended up good 
all right so some good news is going to be coming in um people with business unexpectedly um you know and pop up at this person house because they're going to be like hey <laughs> okay all right and um okay what is this all about um uh, a karmatic situation has come to an end okay a karmatic situation has definitely come to an end so there was um some news of um some judgment call and thing uh, you men that was going through some struggles and some burdens um that is going to be over it was just karmatic situation some luck is coming um for some of you some definitely some luck is coming for some of you okay so some of you men are really 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 going to be receiving some help some luck is definitely going to be coming i'm seeing that an offer is definitely going to be coming for some of you um um some of you could be receiving news about a debt some of you could be receiving news about someone passing away in your life okay this week is going to be affected by um, a lot of men. Um, whoever it is that wants to reconnect with a Capricorn, this woman, you have to do it in a way that she's gonna say, damn. All right, okay, listen, listen okay there is two cards ladies and gentlemen and please if you want a personalized reading please because you can always ask for a monthly personalized reading that is only based on you your personalized reading for the month so you will receive multiple through each week what is going to be happening okay now you guys are just so bloody lucky you um pisces okay so card one and card two I, I started laughing because i saw this okay definitely you um who choose card one it's going to be three um partnerships and alignment partnerships and alignment so that was what i started off like people who have business or managers or that sort of a thing business is going to be running good now whatever that was blocking you you are blown that shit out of the water and you are moving forward and you are using um, um a lot of partnerships and a lot of partnerships and alignments are going to be coming in partnership and alignments is people wanting to work with you and, and um want to work with you basically want to align with you and and you know and that is, is what it says alignment partnerships is also alignment of two people aligning together or three or a group of people coming together to make something work some definitely some good news is going to be here um and i will give you another message for the men for the people who are going back um you men are going to be extremely lucky if you're um connecting with an aquarius no a sagittarius um this is also going to be a lucky break i'm seeing luck with a man um luck with a man um if you have kids there is going to be but some of you are going to be receiving re really message about a debt the debt of a child or the uh, sorry a debt is you're going to be receiving message of a debt that is coming in card two i'm sorry guys bam your wishes and dreams victory and success is coming victory and you have it twice the six of wands victory of success is coming okay so this is just profound 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 this is profound okay victory and success and alignment partnership and alignment victory and success so here i am i am for the people who wants to um, um you know realign with someone it is a yes for the people who wants to go back realign with someone it is a yes this person is going to um um walk your journey for a lifetime with you it is someone who you have known from a past lifetime this person is really for you 
this person is someone who has been there and there is a transition that is going to be coming in and um for you guys that is dealing with um a capricorn because some of you are going to be going back to a capricorn but this is maybe this person is like a um, five years older than you are but definitely this is your twin flame and your soulmate if the person is five ten years older than you are it is your twin flame and your soulmate and sometimes it comes out like that because and I gotta give you this in another reading ask for a personalized reading I gotta say have a good week because it's gonna be good okay